Sam from DigiSearch here with another SEO in Excel training video. Today I'm going to be running you through how I estimate traffic out for keyword rankings. So how I can estimate how much traffic a URL or a website is receiving for a certain rank for a keyword. Now there's so much more we can be doing with this, but today I'm just going to be running you through the actual estimated traffic process and how it all works so you can get the base level understanding of it. So here I've got uh, some data, uh, some ranking data for some keywords for a site. So you can see arborists, they rank 10th, tree removals first, tree removal Melbourne first, tree stump removals fourth, etc. And then I've got a blank column here with the estimated traffic. I've got the search volume for the associate, uh, it's associated with those keywords. I then got primary and location categories set up, which I've done in another training video using this categorization formula. Now, I've then here got a click-through rate model. So this came from one of the studies, I forgot which one, I think it was from around 2013 or so, and it seems to hold true based on some of the data I've seen in Webmaster Tools. But it's basically saying that in you, if you're in first, it's expected you'll get 45-ish percent of the clicks. If you're in second, 18%, third, 10%, etc., etc. et cetera. Now, this is going to be inaccurate, but what it does, uh, well, it's somewhat accurate, but it is mostly inaccurate. Now, what it does do is it gives you an overall market comparison and gives you a like-for-like like uh, I guess snapshot from keyword to keyword, category to category, but then most importantly, website to website. So you can easily compare your website to your competitor's website and have that like for like understanding of performance. Now, what we're gonna be doing is doing this estimated traffic. Now, estimated traffic for this is search volume times the expected click through rate. So if you're in first, for say a keyword that has a thousand searches, it's expected that you'll get a thousand times the click-through rate, which is 450 visits or clicks. And so again, if you're in second, what we do, yeah, sorry, if we're in third, say 10%, it should be around 100, there you go, 106.9 expected visits. So let me clear that. Um, and what, we, what I use is this formula here. So this formula is just doing search volume times the expected click-through rate. And then within it, it sits my categorization formula. Now the reason for that is, because we've got the ranking here, so we've got 10th. So what we need to do is here, we need to look up the ranking for when it's 10. Now you could just do a, a V lookup here if you want, but I just prefer to use my categorization formula here. And so here 10th, it's gonna find 2.2%, and then times that by the search volume for the keyword. So if I go ahead and dump this in there, it's right there. So it's oops, it's estimating the traffic out for those 30-ish keywords there. And so what we now have is that estimated number, for each of the keywords that's then associated with the category and location. Um, now what we can also do then, if we wish, is we can get the market share. So this market share will just be at the keyword level or the ranking position level for each of these keywords and will basically tell us, okay, of the search volume, what sort of market share we got. And for that, it's over here. So it's market share equals total estimated traffic divided by total search volume. So it's equals estimated traffic divided by search volume. And that will give us, when thrown into percent, That'll give us the estimated uh, market share for that keyword. Now you will notice that is basically just gonna be the click-through rate. Um, so th there's a number of things we can do to make that I guess more, not accurate, but to change the way we're looking at it because this market share is just the click-through rate. But what we can do is when we look at it at a category level, you can add up all your search volume and all your estimated traffic and then get a market share across that category. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's just insert a pivot table over on this other spreadsheet here. This, um, and let's go primary category. Let's go estimated traffic. And let's just bring in the market share because I can. 
quickly change a couple things around. Actually, let's go two, and that's right, we want the cent. Go one. So here we have all the keyword categories, the total estimated traffic for that category, and then the sum of the market share. Now, this is where it gets interesting when you're looking at the market share. So all this is doing is adding up these four market shares, which obviously isn't correct. Now, the other way we can do it is you do the average. So let's just drop in market share again, and I'll give you the comparison. So there's the average of our market share. Now, again, that isn't actually correct. So if I bring in our, oh, let's bring in our ranking here. Let's bring in our search volume. I'll try to give you an understanding of it. So our average of market share, for instance, is saying 38% with sum of rank, let's go average of rank being 12.25. Now that might sound correct, but if I actually do the total sum of search volume, which is 29.20, uh, sorry, if I do the estimated traffic first, so 1316 divided by the total estimated traffic, 2920, we get 45% market share. So the average market share will be different when you do it this way. So this is adding up, or sorry, averaging the four below it, but that's not what you want to do because each of these keywords has a different value. So tree removals, for instance, that keyword alone has a search volume of 1900 versus tree removal in Melbourne, which has a search volume of 10. Yet, by using the average, it's assigning equal weight to each of these keywords. So you can't just take an average market share, because this is saying, okay, 45% market share for Melbourne tree removals, but that only has 10 search volume with an estimated traffic of five. So why look at the average of the market share for that when it's not going to be accurate? So what you need to do is for each of these categories, rather than just dragging in the market share and rather than actually doing it in here, you do it using a calculated column in the pivot table itself. So let me just drag this over so we can compare the number. But what we do is we go to, where is it? We go to analyze. And we go calculated field. So not a calculated column, sorry, you go calculated field. And let's name this um, MS, market share. MS percent. So get rid of that. So it's just equals. And what we want to do is the estimated traffic divided by, and so you just double click that, divided by the search volume. So we double click search volume, and then we go add. It's going to add it here. So we click OK. It's already automatically added here. And what you will see there is, you, so you leave it on sum, change it to a percent, and you'll see that this number matches that formula. So when you expand it out at the keyword level, this calculated field is going to equal the average if you did it in the raw data. But as soon as you bring keywords at the category level and using the averages, you can see the difference between the two of them. Sometimes this is going to be higher, sometimes it's going to be lower, but it gives you that accurate view. The only time these two will match is when all the keywords have the same market share percent, so they all have the same ranking. So, 
this is the best way to be doing it. Like, look at here, you can see not 20% if you were to average it because this really low search volume has a 45% market share because the, it's ranking first. But the keyword with the search volume, tree cutters, in eighth, only has the only has the market share of 3%. So by doing this at the category level, you'll get that accurate view. So let me just close all these. And so from this, you'll get the estimated traffic, which you can then do so many different analysis of it. And I'll go through a few more videos. But for now, what you need to be knowing is that the estimated traffic is search volume by expected click through rate. And in the content of this post, I'll basically have this formula here that you can grab. Um, but here you'll see, firstly, it's an if error. So if it doesn't find the rank, it's just going to give a zero, which is fine. Um, that's It might look a bit ugly, but that just helps clean up the data a bit going forward. But then the real part in here is this. This is basically search volume times click-through rate, and that is just my lookup formula. So 10th, find the click-through rate at 10th, 5th, find the click-through rate at 5th, etc. So I hope you guys got something out of this. Let me know if you have any questions below and I will do my best to help you out. Thanks guys.